What is up guys, welcome back to another video and for today's video I'll be talking about the best drips at school. So we all go to school, we all see different type of people, they all dress weirdly, some good, some drippy, nice and all, you know, stuff the vibe. And we right now we're in 2023, so there's loads and loads of drip that we see at school. So I'll be talking about the different type of drips that we see at school and rating them. I'm going to just be talking about expressing my opinion on what I think about it and stuff like that. So um, before we start, hit that like button and subscribe and let's get it. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, first drip is the Minecraft Kid drip. Okay, so this drip, um, we're starting badly with one bad drip that we don't like it. First of all, it's smelly because these Minecraft Kid drips are always smelly. I'm not judging how they're dressing, but I'm just judging uh, the smell, the hygiene. This might be kind of a stereotype video, but they also act cringy at school. Sometimes they be shouting, saying some cringy stuff, being a weird, and I don't know how they're not there. Zero out of 10, cause there's nothing good about this kid. Well, what I feel bad about these kids is that sometimes they're lonely and they're just finding their day, but they need to wash more and they need to be, you know, way more chill. This is too nice. I'm going with what, minus 10 out of 10. I'm not really judging how they dress. I don't care. It's just that they're just a new. Number two. Yes, my two is a gun. Uh, no, don't, don't do that, kids. Don't use that. Never, never. So the Latinas are 10. They're length. Are length. Uh, whatever I don't want to pronounce it these ones they're going to have a good rating but they also have some turn offs so at first you really know how to dress you really know how to really get a guy you cannot even tell me there's not even one Latina that's like that you always wear this type of pattern and always the forbidden test after that the crop top you know and the makeup you always try to impress the guys but they know them when they want to reject them and that's the turn off they always act like most of them values and all side eye judgment and all i would say uh seven out of ten i would have said ten out of ten if their absolute was nice and all so they know how to dress well and all it's just that they sometimes have that bad attitude that is just you know at number three we have the nice guy so these guys are really nice because they're nice guys they're really chill to be with they always wear some normal clothes I'm just out here living the life I have nothing to say they're not judgmental they're really nice they're calm they're easy to be friends with easily talk with them you don't have to be scared of them they're really confident guys so they're really chill they're not trying to be gangster wanna be dressed they have the nice clothing so these guys, I'm gonna rate them a great 10 out of 10 because it's really nice to have them at school. We have a great attitude with everyone. They're really chill and all. It's great to be friends with them and all. So, yeah. Fourth drip in my list of rating is the emo drip. So, honestly, I don't really like when people dress like that because it's not my style and I find it quite weird and cringy and all. So, you know I'm going to have a bad rating on that. I'm not terrifying, but like, it's, it's weird. It, I, I, you know, scary when they dress like that. I'm not terrified or scared. Also, I feel like people are weird when they dress like that. We all have our opinions. Maybe you might be that type of person. So for you, it's interesting. But for me, nah, it's not interesting. I feel like, why would you go to school wearing chains and all? And why would you go to school with some weird more? Honestly, eh, and sometimes you'd be acting depressive, but in reality, you're just living a normal life. Honestly, I'm rating it 2 out of 10. The 2 is a bonus because they're not really mean and smelly. They're not like the Minecraft kids. Fifth in my list is the Drippy Kid. Um, these ones, I have good stuff about them and I have bad stuff. So um, this is my type of dressing. Well, nah, I don't dress like these kids so want to be. You know, some Nike tank drips, stuff like that. Well, I don't have a Nike tank, but you know the type of drip I'm talking about. So these guys, they're always there to impress. They always literally spend thousands of dollars to really wear some drippy clothes at school that some people will be impressed, but most of them will just not care. They always be having their hair cut done each week or each day, literally each day. And they always be having those gangster paws, Friday and all. 
literally having those type of drips like if they're rappers and all and sometimes their attitude is dangerous some of them they be acting like real gangsters and some of them be owning guns and all and they don't joke around like if you say one thing they're going to come and pull you up so these guys they really know how to dress well but they're dangerous so uh, because they're quite dangerous i'm already uh 8 out of 10 because at least it's my time. Not the insta way, but you know, the drippy way. The normal guy drip way. That's the way I dress. Don't always have drip. At number 6 in my list is the football kids. So this one will be my boys. So you can already see with this badge over here that I'm wearing. That these are my boys. These are the type of kids that I am at school. So these kids are always the type of kids that dress all with their full tracks and the full uh, football kids. Well, not kids, but like the full football uh, track suit. Like if they're an academy baller and they're always one of the biggest ballers of the school. It's always one of the best players of the school. So these guys, they're not joking. And especially when they're a winger and they're just like that, they're literally so dangerous. So I'm gonna rate these guys a great 10 out of 10 because we really have a lot in common. They're footballers like me. They talk a lot about football. They dream about football. All of their life is football, 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 just like me. So my seventh rating and my last one of the video is the nerd one. I thought I wasn't going to talk about it. Nah, I'm really going to talk about it. The nerdy drip, they're really nice. I don't really care with the drips because it's not really cringy maybe, I guess. But their attitude is really annoying. They're the teacher's pet and that's annoying. If you do something, they're going to be like, Hey, don't do this or else I'm going to tell the teacher because you're not allowed to do that. Nah. But their dressing is uh, not my type and it's not annoying but it's just not my type, you know. Uh, but what I can say good about them is that uh, the type of kids that you know you can ask some questions if you need help and all can definitely not get some help like some answers from them because they're too concentrated and serious at school they respect every rule if you break one rule they're going to directly park on you so because they're nice some are nice but some are not uh i'm gonna rate a six out of ten honestly but this rating is too nice five out of ten because they have some good parts and some bad parts but it's really hard to say which one is the best one so i'm gonna put them a half star i guess so these were all my ratings for today's video don't feel offended if i rated you badly this is my opinion and i said this is going to be a stereotype rating so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye if you want me to rate another game tell me